Happy Halloween, everyone. Drew here. I know it doesn't look very Halloween-y in my surroundings here in the studio today. I'll get to that in a minute, though. Uh, this is it. This is the Doctor Who costume as voted on by you. This is what I wore to Monster Bash last Saturday. So thank you again for not voting for French Maid. I, I just don't think I ever would have lived that one down. So thank you. I even got the bow tie and the suspenders that kind of make the Doctor Who ensemble complete. So I really appreciate your help getting that together. This costume almost was no more. That w I was missing those two things and it really, really brought everything together to finally get <laughs> those last two elements to it. So for Halloween today, I wanted to run through 10 things you might not know about Halloween. I found this really cool list of things on the FW.com. So I thought we'd go through them together. Here we go, number one. Turns out Halloween is not actually based on devil worship and satanic rituals. I actually already knew this one. Halloween is actually based on a Catholic holiday called All Hallows Eve. And everyone's pretty familiar with that term, All Hallows Eve, but no, it's a, it's a Catholic holiday. Over the years it did kind of mix with some Celtic and pagan traditions, and that's kind of how we got Halloween the way it is today, but it originated as a Catholic holiday. Number two. The first jack-o'-lantern was actually made from a turnip. Pumpkins actually didn't exist and weren't indigenous to England. There was a, a legend in English lore about a blacksmith named Jack who couldn't get into heaven and was thrown out of hell. And so he was doomed to wander the earth in darkness alone. And so he created a lantern for himself out of a turnip with some burning coals inside. It wasn't until they colonized the new world that they actually found pumpkins and decided maybe that would make things a little bit easier. Who knew? Number three, this one's interesting. Bobbing for apples used to be a form of divination, kind of fortune telling. Celtic folklore says that people used to bob for apples to tell what their love life was going to be like. That's just about the last thing I ever expected bobbing for apples to be used for, but there you go. Number four, Halloween is actually the only holiday that has a clinical phobia for it. People are irrationally scared of Halloween, the holiday, overall. It's called salmonophobia. I think I'm saying that right, salmonophobia, and it is seriously the irrational fear of Halloween. I guess that does kind of make sense because Halloween can be pretty terrifying. Number five, poisoned trick-or-treating candy is actually more than just an urban legend. It has happened before. The biggest example was a woman in Long Island back in the 60s who put arsenic in with her Halloween candy to scare teenagers into not trick-or-treating because she thought they were too old. Yeah, I'm pretty sure arsenic does more than just scare people. Pretty sure it kills them. Luckily, the police thought so too. But it is more than an urban legend, unfortunately. Number six, and I wish this was still true, Three Musketeers, when it was first released, actually was three different flavors. There was chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla nougat. And then they had one bar that had all three of them in them, like a Neapolitan. Man, that sounds so good. We should start a campaign to bring back all three flavors of Three Musketeers. Who's with me? Number seven, a gang in California is actually notorious for toilet papering people's houses and property, and they've been doing this since the 1990s. They've been doing this for decades. A gang that's sole function, or at least what they're known for, is just TPing people's houses and cars over Halloween. I guess it could be a lot worse. I'd be willing to let them TP my house. There are so many worse things that gangs could get into. Toilet paper? Not a real big deal. Number eight, Halloween masks have predicted the last four presidential elections. The last four elections have been predicted by which candidate sells the most likenesses of Halloween masks. As of right now, for this election, it looks like Barack Obama is leading in the Halloween mask poll by about 60% to 30%, something like that. Who knows what'll happen, though? Number nine, you know the Salem witch trials? It turns out that only around 10%, maybe even less, of people that were tried for witchcraft in Salem were actually convicted. The vast majority of people were acquitted and let go. And you wouldn't think that because everyone says that the Salem witch trials were this horrible time of just crazy discrimination and things like that. Turns out maybe it wasn't quite as bad as everyone says. And finally, number 10, this is kind of my favorite of the whole list. If your house is haunted and you're trying to sell it, nine states, maybe more, have laws on the books saying you must tell the buyer that your house is haunted and they could be entitled to up to a 25% discount. Unless they really want to live in a haunted house. I mean, if you found somebody like that and you were trying to sell your haunted house, then good for you. But otherwise, many states, including weird ones like Hawaii, actually have laws on the book saying you must fully disclose any haunting of your property 
when you're selling it. So that's it for the top 10 things you probably don't know about Halloween. I hope you had as much fun as I did. And I guess I should address the elephant in the room, the Christmas decorations. Well, Christmas is coming early to try 102.5 this year. We are going to have a very Merry Christmas here in the studio and on the air. Stay tuned for more details about that later, but I'm pretty sure you've already figured it out by now. So guys, that about does it for the special Halloween edition of Drew the DJ's vlog. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Have fun tonight, be safe for Halloween, and uh, try and have fun despite the fact that it's a weeknight and you're probably gonna have to work tomorrow. I know I am, and I'll probably just stay home, and we might have a couple people over, me and my fiance, and watch some movies, but that's going to be pretty much it. So I hope you have a great Halloween. Have fun. Be safe. I will see you next time. Drew here. Happy Tuesday. Hope the day has gone well for you so far. This is my video blog number three, four, technically. I had a little crisis with my Halloween costume last week that I needed help with. So I did a little extra video there. Kind of